I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Oh, doing great. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. Steve is here is talking about, he's the director of UL Firefighter Safety Research Institute, and he's here with a timely message closing the door on fire. Most of you guys see the news. You see what's happening in California with the wildfires and the wine country and other places. It can happen where you're living, and I'm going to get us some instructions. Steve, tell me what's going on as far as fire safety, closing the door. Yes, a message that a lot of people haven't heard. We want people to understand that if they close that door before they go to bed at night, that that can buy them valuable time. Should they have a fire in their house, they're spreading faster than they ever have before because of all the synthetics that we have in our homes. Fires grow really fast. You need that added protection so you've got time to respond to those smoke alarms and get out safely. Steve, everyone wants open concept. We all want new furniture, the latest and the greatest. Is that helping to fuel our fires? Well, it's tough because furniture manufacturers, home builders, they're doing things that the consumers want, and they're trying to deliver a product that is, it is affordable. So things like open floor plans go against a lot of the fire safety principles. As you open up your home, you take away that compartmentation so a fire on one side of the house is able to quickly spread smoke to the other side of the house or from one floor to the next. When it comes to furnishings, uh, we're making everything out of synthetics now, plastics and things like that that are comfortable, they're more affordable. We need to find a way to make them more fire safe uh, so that we don't have situations like this where I'm standing in a living room that's completely burned out in less than four minutes. You're standing there, and this could be someone's home. This, I'm sure this is why you guys did this, correct? Absolutely. This is a home that you would find anywhere across America, and uh, it's one of those things that people don't think a fire is going to happen to them uh, until it does. So we want people to be as prepared as possible, especially during Fire Prevention Week. That's right. And I mentioned the fires in Sonoma, California, because as we see the news, most of those people said that they were sleeping. Absolutely. Uh, talking to our firefighting friends in California, they said that in many cases, uh, fires will slow down, wildfires slow down during the night. That hasn't been the case here. Uh, so our thoughts are with those firefighters in California as they try and get ahead of that problem uh, and save lives like they do every day. What's a, a plan to have for effective fire safety? Give us some tips there. Well, I... I can, I can show you here as I, as I walk to the back of the house, we had two rooms side by side in the back of our home. One had a open bedroom door, which is sooted completely from top to bottom. Uh, the smoke went all the way to the floor, temperatures exceeded 500 degrees. It would not have been survivable whatsoever. Next to that, we had a closed bedroom where with the bedroom door closed, it remained less than 100 degrees throughout the entire bedroom. It did not become anywhere near as toxic, and someone could have survived in this room for more than 10 minutes. What is the exit time when a fire breaks out and, and you can get out? Is there an exit time? Is there a window? Well, yeah, we want everybody to be practicing that. Uh, what we're seeing is you've got less than three minutes to get out of your home. So we want everybody to have those escape plans, get your family together, figure out, put everybody to sleep, set off that smoke alarm, and see how long it takes you to recognize what's going on, to get yourself together, to check the conditions. Can I safely get out? And if you can't safely get out, you've got to keep that closed door between you and the fire. If you can safely get out, you want to get out, go to a meeting place, call for help. Mm -hmm. 
communicate this message, sometimes a little bit hard, and I'm going to throw this in. I'm gathering my family for Thanksgiving. You know, everybody comes for the food. Absolutely. And we will be talking about being prepared to evacuate your home. And now I'm going to add fire safety to the list. So thank you for being my guest. And I hope this inspires my audience to do the same thing. My pleasure. Make sure everybody knows to close before you doze. Steve, once again, where would you send them on the web in case they want to make their own fire plan or practice? Yep, we want to send them to closeyourdoor.org to find out all that information and close before you doze. Steve, I want to thank you so much for talking fire safety. He's a fire safety re from the Fire Safety Research Institute. Thank you. I think you've saved a lot of lives today. Thank you. Thank you.